single day, and I play whatever music I want, so you should come. We have a good time. It's like personal development on a bike. You should definitely be there. All right, I'm going to talk customers now, and this is something, I don't know, when you all first started, and I know you all want to like message everyone you know right now, give me like five minutes, and then you can go to town, okay? A lot of you have a drive after this, just don't be driving, but you can message your customers. But I want to give you some information before you send messages to them, so you kind of know the ins and outs. And this is some what I do, some based on corporate office. Commenting on your Facebook post saying, oh my gosh, I love this. Or they'll even put a Facebook post. 
professional staff because they love it so much. They're literally working the business, but they're just not a brand partner. So I will tell you what I do. I rarely mention brand partner or business. And it's not because I'm not. Like, I think Miriam's amazing. I'm not afraid to mention those two things. You have to meet people where they're at. And I went to lots of home parties where people would say, look at this amazing business. And I was like, oh, yeah, that, no, can't do it. So instead, and this is kind of a Jenny Greer ninja trick that a lot of us know. She just says, meet them where they're at. Let's say you're Brit, and I am like, you guys, I don't do math, okay? I taught history, and I have to get by my personality sometimes because I don't know numbers. So that's why I married an engineer. Opposite the track. So if you have a customer spending $200 a month, just say, you can reach out to them and say, okay, I've been thinking. Number one, you're awesome, obviously. Number two, you're spending $200 a month on product. If you were to upgrade, and you could say brand partner here, if you were to upgrade to be a brand partner, I could save you like $1,900 a year because we could help you get your product free. Do you want to know more about that, or are you good? And if they're like, no, I'm good, I'd be like, okay, cool. It's my job to make sure you're getting a deal, though. <coughs> if someone said that to you, you're not offended. You guys are helping you, right? So that's one way to say it. This is really loud. That's one way to say it to them, to let them know they're getting a great deal. You're not being businessy. Remember, my goal is to get through your free. You never know who's going to jump in with you and then decide they actually can see themselves doing A, B, C, or D. I've always said, and this is funny, be careful what you say, because it will come into um, light. But I've always said, since our kids were little, I can't wait to be a stay-at-home mom when all my kids are in school. And my husband's like, you're such a brat. Like, no one gets to stay home when their kids are in school. You guys, my kids are in school, and I get to stay home alone all day. <laughs> so, speak it into existence, because it's the best. I love my kids, but I could not have been a stay-at-home mom when they were actually at home. So I recommend being a stay-at-home mom when they're at school. It's awesome. It's my job to tell you these things. Okay. So that is one thing you can do is say, hey, I've been looking at you, you know, the Nearing products. I know you love them. I could save you this much money if you upgraded to be a brand partner. You can get your product free. I will help you. That's it. Keep it simple. Um, and maybe they use products in different categories, whatever the case may be. Remember, and I'll circle back to this at the end, our customer perks. They can be hard to keep track of, but there's a document in your back office under resources that has all of them listed. Just screenshot it so you have it in your phone. Save it. And it says all you need. But the one thing with this, let's say they are ordering $130 a month. That's where you reach out and you're like, hey, I, I know you usually order the day and night cream and whatever. If you have the cleanser, you're actually going to get free shipping, so you're going to get the cleanser for like 20 bucks. Do you want it, or do you want to try something else? Upsell them, and it's not because you're being a jerk. You can get free shipping. I spend how much on Amazon Prime every year because I don't want to pay shipping. And they have me for life. People love free shipping. Offer it. If they say no, that's okay, but you're doing your job. Okay? I know no one wants another job, but it is network marketing. You do actually have to do stuff. So if you reach out to them and just let them know... But if they add a product, they're going to get free shipping. Everybody wins. And like I tell my husband, like, well, yeah, but I got free shipping. And he's like, oh, gosh. So <laughs> definitely throw that out there. They're your warmest market. These are the people. They're your VIPs. Take care of them. Okay? They belong here because they're ordering a lot of product. And they're helping pay for your kids everything. So take care of those people. Great source for referrals. If you have an RRP, you can even have them bring some friends and say, hey, I've got Free set of iPads for you. Let me know if you can bring some friends. Have them help you because a lot of them may not be interested in the business, but they want to help you grow yours. So just reach out and ask. And they're the ones who eventually may be interested. And so don't be weird because they want to know, can I do what she's doing? And if you're like, please be a brand partner, please be a brand partner, they're going to be like, uh -uh. I'm not going to do that to my friend. So treat them as a friend. Treat them the way you would obviously want people to talk to you. I'm not 100% sure at this point. I'm so, so. These are the people, though, you want to talk to probably. Oh, I think it's going to say next. Never mind. I won't jump. Hmm. Reach out to them personally every one to two months. Have they hosted a party for you? 
you wish them happy birthday, Merry Christmas, maybe send them a card. If you have a new product out that you can sample out, maybe say, oh my gosh, I needed to get you this first. When are you going to be home? I love when people give me stuff to try. It's the best. So treat them like royalty. Send notes. Just build that relationship. Those are going to be your best people sometimes because they may not want anything to do with the business, but they will send you people like crazy because they know you're going to treat their friends the right way. So think about that. Group B. These are your consistent ADO orders. They may have one product. I don't know what it is, but I have this customer base that is obsessed with eye patches, and that's all they order every month. That's it. I have some that order a lot of other things, but there's like 10 people, and they just order eye patches. I'm like, okay, cool. And they won't be without them. They'll order sometimes four boxes in a month. I'm like, do you wear them every day or like three times a day? I don't know. But they order them like crazy, or they'll put them all over their face. I don't know. <laughs> but I know that they are my number one go-to's. For that customer rally group who's like, yes, we love being a customer. So they order one thing, they're going to be the first people that I say, oh my gosh, you have to check out the new product. One specifically is a nurse, and I'm going to say, I want you to check this out. She looks at the research on everything for me, and I'm like, I need you to be my eyes and ears on this because you know I don't have to, I'm not like that. And she'll say, oh, this part's awesome, or lean on those people. Use their expertise to help you. So these people, you're going to keep inviting to your RRPs and say, I know you buy products. Here's another tip. If you're having an RRP, it's okay to invite a few of your current customers because nothing spreads that little Miriam excitement like someone saying, here's what I use and I love it because of this. Because you're not in the business and they're listening to that. When I did my first RRP, I had one friend using Miriam and I said, will you come to my party so you can tell people how good it is? Because I think they'll listen to you. You guys, I signed up without ever sampling the product. So I don't know the story. We could have been selling dental floss, and I would have been like, I need a life change, I'm in, honestly. So, if you have someone who loves the product and they can come to your party, have them do that. Just like the Facebook party, that little support person, do it. So reach out to them on important dates and holidays. Notice this says, personally, at least once a quarter. So you're not reaching out all the time, just every so often. How's it going? Hope your family's doing great. Here's a new product. And group C. One-time purchase or cancel. They've tried at least one thing. These are the most perfect people to reintroduce to Miriam. A lot of us had people that started at the beginning as our customers dropped off, and we were like, ugh, that's embarrassing, and we didn't really go back that route. Yes? I bet a lot of us still have people that tried the night cream, didn't see a result, canceled their, canceled their ADO, and we never followed back up. We were like, well, they hate it. Do you think there's something else they'd probably like? Heck yes. Reach back out to them and say, I know you didn't love the night cream. I just want you to come to my house and hang out. You don't have to be like an Arium cheerleader, but I would just love to see you. They will probably try something else that night that they will be obsessed with. And you never know. They may go brain partner. Like you just don't know. So keep those people in the loop. Let them decide what they want. Do not prejudge. And I know I'm not doing a recruiting training, but it's the same thing for customers. Don't decide they're a customer either. Offer them the information and let them go with it. So, these are the ones you want to keep following back through. Just because they canceled an ADO doesn't mean they're out forever. Also, there's customers out there that are orphan customers. And what that means is they were signed up with a brand partner at one point and quit. And then they quit because people quit taking care of them. Help them out. I just saw a lady, we did a vendor show. I don't even remember where. And it was like a former three-star NMD who left Miriam. And this, not the person talking to me, but this woman walked up and said, oh, she's my mother-in-law, but she left the company. I, I only ever knew there was day and night in firm. And I was like, <laughs> we should probably talk. Because we have a million more things that she could use now. And I actually gave her iPad, just got her email, and I said, let's chat. And she's like, no, I actually need more stuff anyway, but my mother-in-law quit. I said, oh, okay. So there's people out there, too. Just let them know what's out there. It's your job. You're basically like the happy ambassador and... Miriam experience provider. So let them know what's out there. How do you communicate? <coughs> Communication should be, you see the word, about reconnecting. How are they? What do they like? How's it going? And don't forget, I, I just add things that come to mind, something like that. 
But don't forget, your reaction to a no is just as important as your reaction to a yes. So if they're like, no, I think it smells bad. Molly's like, oh my gosh, that's okay. Hey, one thing, just so you know, I actually love, and I always turn it around, I actually love that it smells fresh, and after it dries, it doesn't actually have a scent. So that's perfect. You do what works for you, and then empower your kids. My future and my dreams and my dream board and everything does not rely on one person who doesn't like things. I could give a rip. Next, I literally did when I started. I'd say, well, I didn't invent it, so it's okay. And they're probably like, wow, she's a jerk. But I wasn't going to let one person who didn't like something get in my way. And so I don't want you all to either, but also don't forget to take care of the people that are getting you to where you want to go. And that's what these customers are doing. They are your word of mouth, just like your Miriam's word of mouth. So we want to keep them happy, keep them filled in, be excited. How many of you have ever had someone message you and say, I don't know what you're doing, but you seem so happy? If you haven't yet, keep being happy. They will. I've had friends say, we maybe need to sit down. I don't know if it's Miriam or what, but you're totally different. I'm like, I don't know. Let's do coffee. So keep doing you. They're watching. But follow up and make sure your customers are taken care of. Okay, last but not least, this is the one I'm going to read right off this because I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to ramble. Make sure you are proficient in the rewards program. There is this lovely little, I know you can't see it, but there's a lovely little document in your resources and it's saved because people will say, well, is it like an auto ship? Am I the only one that hears that? Is it like an auto ship? I'm like, well, number one, you're probably going to want it every month because it's awesome. But you also get 30-day money-back guarantee. You get a chance to be um, entered in our 90-day challenge where you can make money just for looking better. Because you say 90-day challenge, they're already bought in for three months, which then is going to be forever. So they're going to look at free shipping if you spend over $150. Which is why we help people with the upselling. Well, if you add this, you can get free shipping, but it's totally up to you. Let them know what's available. If they don't know, they don't know. And they're never going to change their order. So let them know about that. Um, and then obviously, once they have three orders over $100, they get $25 that they can spend on an order. Now, that cannot be used for, towards an ADO, but it can be used for a product purchase. So it just sits there. So they can't apply it to their ADO. So if they have problems, that's why. It's for an order. And then... Um, obviously, for any referral, they get ten dollars off. So I actually say that in my freeway calls now. If I know I can tell they're going more products, I just say. Also, if you like getting a discount, tell a few of your friends about this. If they go to your customer website, that's free. In order, you get ten dollars off. I'm like, isn't that awesome? Like, yeah. Introduce it because they're going to need to hear it a few times. But I think it's amazing. You want to use this to grow your business. You want to follow up those. Follow up with those customers. Make sure if you haven't really told your customers about this, you think they magically read it off of something, they don't. They don't open their email. I got 69,531 emails. That makes some of you need some medication <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I actually don't. I'm OCD majorly, but not with emails. I could never, because they're not here. They're not cluttering my life. So I don't read my emails, so that's important. They're probably not either. Make sure they know about the perks. Keep them interested. Let them know those things. But take care of your customers because they really are the lifeblood of your business. They are the ones who are saying, oh, my gosh, she's amazing. She needs this product. Go talk to her about it. They're going to keep referring people to you. So how many of you are excited about the new product? It really is even better than you think. Wait till you start taking it. I made my husband do it. He's like, what is this stuff? The powder? I'm like, just take it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> It's great. So I'm super excited for you guys. Just in light of Miriam and the direction we're going and these new products we're adding every single time, be vigilant in following up with your customers and taking care of them because it will pay off like nothing you've ever seen. So super excited. Thank you. Passing it back to me.
tiny bundle of joy and energy all the way from Nebraska, Phil Sampson, come on back up. <laughs> <laughs>